Hello friends, I am Rishmi. Welcome to SRS Info. Today we will discuss about the stages of sugar coating. In the last class we discussed about the tablet coating and different types of tablet coating. Okay. And we also introduced the stages of sugar coating. Today we will discuss the stages of sugar coating in detail. These are waterproofing, subcoating, smoothing, coloring and finishing and polishing. Let us understand these steps in detail. So what is waterproofing? Now the tablets are completed. Okay. The finished tablets are prepared and it is kept in a potting pan. Now the tablets are made up of drugs. Okay. The main purpose of the coating of tablet is the protection of tablet. Protection of the drug from the environmental disturbances and packing disturbances etc. And it gives a elegance to the tablet that it gives a proper and good appearance to the tablet so the coating of tablet is very important commercially and at the same time it gives a protection to the drug clear so the first step of sugar coating is waterproofing the name itself gives the idea that it gives the protection from water why we need this waterproofing coating to the tablet this is the drug and we have to give the sugar coating to the tablet and the sugar is dissolved in water. Water is the best solvent for sugar. So we, we applied, we have to apply this sugar coating with water, along with water, okay. So there is a possibility of the destruction of this drug, destruction of this tablet due to this sugar coating. For that purpose, first we have to make the tablet waterproof. Now, let's understand in detail. The tablets are given one or two coatings of waterproof materials which may consist of arsenic free shellac, ethyl cellulose or silicones. So what are the waterproof materials which are used for this waterproofing coating? These materials may consist of arsenic free shellac, ethyl cellulose, silicones. These are the materials which are used for waterproofing coating and not only one coating, it may be one or two coatings we can apply to this tablet. They must be dissolved in suitable solvent before applying. The first step is we have to dissolve this waterproofing material into the suitable solvent in which they are soluble. After that we have to apply this. After giving the waterproof coating, the tablets are removed from the pan and allowed to dry in the air for some time. After giving the waterproof coating, this is the tablet, first we just apply the waterproof coating one or two times one or two coatings are given and after that we have to remove this tablet from the pan and allow it to dry in the air for some time and what is the purpose of waterproofing i have explained you in the beginning that since the water is used as a vehicle for dissolving sugar required for coating when it will come in contact with the drugs they may be destroyed to avoid this destruction or to prevent this destruction waterproofing is done so one question can be asked from here what is the purpose of waterproofing of sugar coating tablet here it's very very important so the first step is over the second step is sub coating now the waterproof coated tablets are put in the pan and rotated the one one point you have to understand is that each and every steps of this coating is done within the pan even after every steps, the tablets are removed from the pan and the drying process is done. Clear? Suppose this is the pan and the waterproof water tablets are put in the pan, then started rotating. The pan has to rotate. On rotating the tablets, a heavy syrup consisting of acacia and sugar solution is added. In the last class, I have shown you a diagram of the pan. Okay. This is the drum or this is the pan and the tablets are here in the bed of this pan and the coating is applied from here in the form of spray so here heavy syrup consisting of acacia and sugar solution is added acacia and sugar the mixture of acacia and sugar solution is added heavy this is a heavy syrup not the diluted syrup not the point this is applied to the rotating tablets the tablets are allowed to roll until they become sticky and adhere to each other and to the pan when the spray is applied the tablets are rotating here okay so the spray is applied then the heavy spray mixed with this rotating tablets and it becomes sticky 
and these tablets are also getting sticky up to the pan also at this stage what we will do at this point the tablet are dusted with the dusting powder now first we allowed them to make sticky and now we have to apply the dusting powder to make them separate or until they lose their tendency to adhere to each other so at this point the tablets are dusted with the dusting powder this point the dusting powder is added what are the materials which are used as dusting powders talc starch powdered acacia precipitated chalk etc this point also you have to notice this point also this is also important these dusting powders are added until they lose their tendency to adhere to each other the rotation of the pan is continued until the tablets are fully dried when the dusting powder is added the rotation is continued and this rotation is continued until the tablets are fully dried and these steps get repeated first we have to add the uh, syrup then it add the syrup of acacia and sugar then it rotation is continued when it get adhered to each other then what we will add dusting powder we add the dusting powder then again rotation is continued it becomes dried okay then another quart of the syrup is added dusting powder added then drying continued and this process is continued by using alternatively syrup and dusting powder until the edges of the tablets are sufficiently covered and rounded until the edges of the tablet until the edges of the tablets are sufficiently covered all the every edges are sufficiently covered and rounded till that moment the till that time the uh, this rotation and the subsequent steps are continued this is what we can call as sub coating before the main coating we have to give a sub coating and when this tablets are sufficiently covered and rounded the sub coated tablets are removed from the pan okay now the rotation is stopped and the tablets are removed from the pan and allowed to dry drying is important after each step so i hope this step is clear the waterproofing coated tablets are now and uh, put in the pan then the drying syrup is added rotation continued when it becomes sugar syrup is added the rotation is continued when it becomes sticky then the dusting powder is added then rotation continued when it becomes dried again the syrup is added rotate then the dusting powder added rotate and this steps are continued until the tablet becomes sufficiently covered and rounded with this sugar coating okay this is the sub coating step and when this covering is sufficient then the sub coated tablets are removed from the pan and allowed to dry the third step is smoothing now the sub coating is over next we have to give a smooth appearance to the tablet the sub coated tablets are again put in the pan again the pan comes and the sub coated tablets are put in the pan and the rotation started now what we will do they are given a few coating of heavy sugar syrup earlier we gave the mixture of the syrup consist of sugar and acacia now the coating of heavy sugar syrup is given which are dried simultaneously until a smooth surface is obtained and the tablets of specific size are produced this addition of heavy sugar heavy sugar syrup then drying rotation drying then addition of this heavy sugar syrup this process is continued until we have to get a specified size and smooth tablets is obtained when it is achieved then the tablets are removed from the pan and allowed to dry this is the process of smoothing the fourth step is coloring and finishing now the sugar is added the waterproofing first we give a waterproof then sub coating okay after that we give smoothing now the tablet are now now the tablets are smooth but it is not finished to increase or enhance the elegance of the tablet we have to give a colored colored appearance to the tablet for that purpose the fourth step is being done the desired water soluble color is dissolved in the diluted syrup water soluble color not the point the color should be water soluble and this water soluble color is dissolved in the diluted syrup now this is not heavy syrup okay this simple point is very important for your exam the water soluble color is dissolved in the diluted syrup then several coating of this colored diluted syrup are given as in the earlier step 
the first coating is given then it undergoing rotation then it becomes dried then another coating is applied then several coating of this colored diluted syrup are given and the drying should be carried out after each addition but one point is not to be noted is that the last coating must be dried at a very slow speed several coatings are given and the drying can be done in a drying can be done fast but the last coating the last coating must be dried at a very slow speed to prevent sticking of the tablets with each other the purpose is the purpose of slowing the speed of the last coating is that to prevent the sticking of the tablet with each other okay now after that the desired colored and finishing is achieved then we can remove the tablets from the pan and the last is polishing now the tablets are very smooth there's a good color good finishing but after finishing we have to just give a polish to the tablet it gives the complete the perfect appearance of the tablet which is ready to pack and move the thoroughly dried coated tablets now the tablets are thoroughly dried and thoroughly coated also these are transferred to canvas drum now the polishing is drum polishing is done in canvas drum i have explained you about the canvas drum in the last class which is also known as polishing pan it is just like uh, the incoming of air then the exhaust vent etc what is happening in this polishing the polishing pan is rotated and the lumps of wax in the volatile solvent is added and what is added for polishing purpose the lumps of wax wax always gives a polished appearance okay so the lumps of wax is appear, uh, applied here but before applying this wax has to be dissolved in a volatile solvent and what is the use of the volatile solvent because the tablets are allowed to rotate until the volatile solvent evaporates when the volatile solvent evaporates the wax is attached to the tablet due to this heavy rotation the volatile solvent is escaped through here and the wax is attached to the tablet in the bed of this pan then it gives this wax gives a desired finishing to the tablet which gives a good polish appearance now these are the interesting steps involved in the sugar coating of tablets i hope you enjoyed this video in the next class we will discuss about film coating of tablets thank you for watching